Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV, and I want to show you how to pass information between your view controllers. I don't really like doing everything in the storyboard file. I find that the transitions are a little bit hard, and a lot of times what I want to do in my code file is I want to have some kind of data property. So I might have a, let's go strong, non-atomic, and let's say it's a NS mutable array, and it's called data array. So in my application, when I am presenting a new screen, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm going to set the data for the new screen. And so the way we do that is say my view controller dot, and then whatever the array was, and we called it the data array is equal to some data array. So let's assume that uh, we just create an array right here and I'll pass it in some names. And then we get an error that this is incompatible. So the one step for that is we just need to do a method call and ask for a mutable copy. So this is a shorthand notation for creating an array and we can now present that information and rerun the app. And so now what's happening is we're seeing the screen appear. And so one quick way to sort of visualize how that's working is I can create one more outlet just for fun and we can present the first name on this outlet. So I'm going to switch to our assistant editor and hide some panels. I'll hide the document outline because that button disappears when we don't have enough screen space. And we will put this in our .m file. So you can see that along the top. And I'm gonna just put it in this code block right here. And this is gonna be our label and we'll just call it label. And then what I can do is when this loads, I can say self dot label dot text is equal to some value from our array. So what I could do is a uh, NS string with format. And let me go back to the single view of this. So I'll scroll down. So we're back where we were in the view did load method and we'll do string with format. And I want to say names. And just for fun, we will print out the full array. So self dot data array. And so now we should see a little bit of information and it's all chopped off. So we'll go back to our XIB file and just make our label bigger. And we have to make it multi-line. So if I click on this top bar, we're gonna go to this slider here. And if you put lines to zero, it will be multi-line. Now make sure you tab off of that thing so it can save properly. Sometimes it won't save and we'll stop and start again. And now we can see that we have some data here. So depending on what you're doing here, this is sort of the way you would pass data. Now the handoff, you don't always want the strong type. So sometimes we want to do weak because someone else is going to own it. Um, but in this case, no one else is owning it, so that's why I had to do strong. Generally, the the view controller that's presenting has access to the data, and they will maintain that. Um, but just for this example, this is how I'm passing the information. So that's a little thing to play around with. You can try customizing your own screen and and just putting different things here, getting the data that you need from another controller so that you can present the correct information. This is just how something like Facebook or Foursquare will be passing information between all the different screens. You wanna use those properties to, to pass that information.